Hey ladies, it's Charlie O and Lola, and we're the Shady Ladies. We're a couple of love coaches that love to sit on the patio, drink champagne, and talk about sex and love and relationships with no shame. We're here to help you to keep it exciting. Hello, we're back at the Shady Ladies patio. It's patio talk time. And today we're going to be talking about um, moving in together, whether it be with um, you two just yourselves, maybe children combining a family, or oh my gosh, even a pet. What the heck? (laughs) That can make things a little complicated, that's for sure. That's what I've been told. That's why we're talking about it. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, it can be a very exciting time and I think an overwhelming time all at once. So you can have both emotions, but um, what we want to do is not let it get too overwhelming, that's for sure. Well, what I've been told is the best thing you could do is before you move in with that somebody, someone's, or the pet, (laughs) um, you need to really make sure that you're aware of what's going to happen, really be honest about it because guess what? Things are going to change. Your whole atmosphere is going to change. The quality of your house is going to change. Your food's going to change. Somebody might be eating your, um, I was going to say eating, drinking your milk or maybe <laughs> drinking your cocktails at night when you don't want them to. From, anybody, the, from the jar or the exactly. bottle. <laughs> and you walk in and you're like, bleh. And if it's your own kid, you might love it or could deal with it. But what if it's a stepchild mm. or that people, right? I don't know. Yeah. You tell me. That could Lola. be. Could be challenging. So a um, couple thoughts would be like, when is too soon? Like, what if you're thinking about it? When is too soon? How do you know if you're ready? Those are really, really big questions. And so we want to help you kind of break that down, give you some things to think about maybe you haven't thought about yet. Um, I would probably say um, the moving in too soon is when you're trying to make it happen super fast because of maybe, oh my gosh, I'm in that honeymoon stage still Mm -hmm. I haven't really actually thought about it I just love you so much and oh my gosh our families are all gonna bond or you and I are gonna bond (laughs) have you talked about okay this is how I brush my teeth this is what I wear in bed this is what I don't wear in bed Mm -hmm. this is how I make my coffee whatever it's really literally you like if you're gonna really move in and have a great relationship and make it work it's called you kind of have to almost do like a whole list and unfortunately it does kind of take the romantic part out of it but it does really be productive well I definitely think that you have to start the conversation that's for sure even if you don't cover all the topics in one conversation you definitely should start it and I promise once you start the conversation it gets easier and easier bit by bit so Lola, I do have some um, like some topics that they should talk about before. Perfect. It's like basically, um, what are your partner's goals for the relationship? What are your actual goals? Are you thinking about like if we are move in together, is this like are we lifers? Are we just roommates? Are we just testing the water out? Because if you're testing the water out, keep his and hers or who, who's and whose because it's like you don't know. Like, you know, you got to yeah. kind of maybe. And then it says basically maybe you need to um, talk about your deepest, like what about what you're your fears are moving together are you going to take away that i can't play xbox or that i can't dance around (laughs) naked on a saturday while i'm cleaning the house and doing cartwheels or something right yeah come on people right right you gotta think about that well for sure i think if you aren't thinking that this person could be a potential you know lifetime partner you know you want to be with them for the long term maybe don't move in together just Give it a little bit more time for sure. Or how about this? Spend a week together in one, or his or hers or his or yous or whose mm-hmm. house, and then you can like say, okay, and then you can see the dynamics because guess what? That is not always a pretty thing either. Yeah. It's like that guy brushes his teeth disgustingly. He's splattered on my mirror. Oh mirror. my gosh, it's so <laughs> disgusting. They don't wipe out their shower. It's gross. They yeah. use my my towels or the, the proper towels that you don't even use because yeah, that is so towels. wrong, right? I'm just saying that happens too in life. <laughs> I'm just going to go tell you that right now. So. They're, they're funny little things, but actually, you know, with um, the experience of moving in together, there's kind of a lot of expectations, especially if you don't discuss them. Um, these things can be triggers for your relation in your relationship, and, and that's really not good. One thing that I would say is a definite no-no 
right off the bat, if you're thinking of moving in together for financial reasons, absolutely <laughs> no. <laughs> That's like to yeah. not. Yeah. You should not. I've go, just got go like back my to your arms up. Go back to your mom or your dad. Big X. No, don't go, do that. Go so. back to your mom or dad and ask for help. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and if they don't love you, then you're on your own. So well, just, I mean, honestly, like put it off another month and save a little or, or whatever. You know, I think giving the relationship some time. So... You know, you can't really say that you should do it after a month, two months, three months, four months, six months, a year. I mean, there, there's really no timeline. It's so individualized. Everyone is different. And, um, you know, one of my rule of thumbs, I'm not saying it's for everyone, but I like to see that person in all the seasons. Meaning, there's four seasons, right? We have joy, we have love, we have season in the sun. <laughs> I mean, well, probably not that one, but maybe. I don't, I have no idea. I'm just saying. True. Well, true. But I mean, I, I think that that's important because it gives you that time and space to see them in different settings, in different environments, around different, um, you know, it could be work things, it could be family things, um, kind of seeing what their triggers are. If, they, if there are some red flags, you definitely don't want to start moving in with that person and thinking that you can change them, especially ladies. Absolutely. <laughs> but don't you think that that's why you need to kind of make that list and kind of actually walk mm -hmm. through it? It's like, you know, first start with maybe, gosh, an overnighter. Then, gosh, mm -hmm. maybe a three-dayer. And then, gosh, maybe we, if you have children or kids or, or even like older kids, include them in a weekend, rent a cabin mm -hmm. and see how that all works out. Because if you think about it, it's like this, these people don't care and they're not going to change this is who you're li i mean you know, they might be walking on eggshells a baby bit but mm -hmm. there's still the people that drink out of the milk carton steal your vodka when you're not and fill it up with water um oh, yeah. probably be the, the one that, down there teenagers. wrecking the boat or whatever that looks like but there's those oh, are, are you speaking from experience huh? um never <laughs> not me no i'm i have the perfect life Lola. Yeah, you know right? that no nothing no, bad no. ever i'm not no i'm not having like triggers that are just making you crazy today <laughs> Well, and I think one thing um, right off the bat, if you're considering this, you have to talk about money. Don't make it kind of be like a, a word you don't discuss with each other. Because if you can't talk about money before you move in, it's not going to get any better. So you have to be able to oh, talk about... absolutely. Talk about money, your finances, and how you will share the responsibilities or, of the bills. Yeah, or who is paying for what or whatever, because mm -hmm. then you end up with those angry people that like, oh yeah, I, I moved you in really fast, but I thought you would be the person that would write that check on when you know it's rent, and then mm -hmm. you're waiting, waiting, and then all that stuff happens. I have a great friend that that happened to, and it's just kind of like, and then it's like, see ya, Felicia, and then she, <laughs> like she's kicked out in two months because she's ready to live like with her pink pillows and fluffy things, and I'm just going to do whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, where's the half of the rent? And so you communication, mm -hmm. you've got to talk about it because, yeah. and it happens all the time. It's like, I know the honeymoon part is so great. And oh my mm -hmm. gosh, the best sex ever, the most amazing days. We do, I like flowers and puppies and kittens are flying everywhere. But then when the reality talks, it's like, who's paying the bills? It yeah. is the fact of that. Well, yeah, I think it should be shared, and I think that, you know, you have to divide up what's appropriate for whomever, you know. I think I think that's completely fair, and if you aren't able to talk about that before you guys move in together, then... It's called talk about your finances. It will, it's you have to be open about your finances. any better. Yes. In yes, fact, I it will agree. get way worse. Yeah. Your life will be miserable yeah. and you will be living hell. <laughs> I mean, right? You have to, you know how you're exp expensing, how you're splitting the rent, the expenses. I mean, so let's say he makes X amount or whatever and he says, I'll pay the rent, whatever. But it's, again, that trigger thing that says, okay, but then he or he or she, it doesn't matter who it is, is now paying more. And then they have that kind of like that, oh, right. like that anger right. thing. Resentment. That, yeah, they have resentment. Good word. Right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, discuss those things beforehand. It's going to save so much energy and frustration in the long run for sure oh i have another topic okay because you know how i mean what about the mess what about if they don't wipe their sink out after yes, they're done the bad what, a, what about the splatter what about the garbage kind of overflows okay we all know when it's garbage day and guess what i am not the worker and i'm not the cleaner i mean and that's not from past that's just what happens because people are used to cleaning up their own shit excuse me stuff business well, yeah i mean i think that you have to be okay with the you know your partner's habits i mean what 
do they leave piles of dishes? You share the chores. Yeah. So you have to have a chore list. See, it's yeah. like another job to move in together. Like, so don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody needs to do it. But you've got to have a list, peeps. And like, Well, I think if you have it clearly defined, then absolutely. it doesn't feel like a job anymore. Right? It's like, oh, yeah, we already talked about this. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to make your life so much easier. Even though these conversations are slightly awkward in the beginning, it, it really does help in the long term. And you'll be so glad you did it. You're like, oh, that was like two minutes worth of awkwardness. Right. But now I've got like six months of bliss. So that's kind of so nice. So my thought was is what if we have a moving in together list, Lola? Because mm-hmm. there is those things like what about the financial secrets that you don't aren't aware of? And they go, oh, gosh, I can't pay their rent this month because I forgot to tell you that I just bought a um, $20,000 gun or whatever. I mean, like that's exaggerating, but you know what I mean, like a big thing. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, so I have to spot you for this, so am I going to pay paid back? So it's that whole thing of the accountability for both people. So that's another thing yeah. that has to be really a big thing. For sure, yeah. And you know what? No one can fix this. You just got to communicate and trust me, well worth it. Can't say that enough. You know, also, um, I think you both, both parties have to recognize that there are some challenges. There's gonna, they're going to come up. Even if you're in the honeymoon phase and it doesn't really seem like there's much, um, you don't really see any red flags, but you have to realize that there's challenges. And then, you know, discuss this with your potential partner or your potential long-term partner you know are you both willing to work on it because one person can't do all the work exactly been there done that (laughs) won't do it again yeah it doesn't work so well so to bring something up you know we all we know we all know how everybody we love our kids we love other kids people's Mm -hmm. kids uh always but there is a thing that and that's the whole thing but that's a different subject altogether but what about the pets like, okay, sure. pets are considered different, even though I love animals. I think mm-hmm. they're amazing, but they are kind of treated different in a relationship, you know, most of the time, but not always. But what if you meet that person that their pet is that, that is their kid, that is it. I've and seen then, some ugly pets out there. I'm not going to lie. But, <laughs> it's going to be hard to love them. <laughs> but if they're, you Like a ferret? What if they have a ferret? I, you know what? I had to clean a ferret up. I like have, a ferret that's poop a line in the sand. I, 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 I There's, there, yeah, that, that's on your, that's on your no list. So that's yeah, on your, we'll it never is. touch. It's on so my no list. That should be included. It's not even a that, called. that should be included in your moving in list. If you have a ferret man, you're so, yeah. I don't care how if hot you, you snake, I don't no. care. I don't care if you're like the rock or Michael Jordan times 55. <laughs> you are, if you have a ferret, you're out, man. I will never, unless you have some cleaning lady that comes takes care of it. I will not even touch it. Yeah, I can't. Exactly. But, but think about the people that have, like they're they've been like divorced, single, like never had kids or whatever, but they've always had animals, mm-hmm. and that animal sleeps with her, him or her every right. day or every night. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be okay or with at, on that pet in on the movie bed. night, or it has to go in the car with you all the time. You have to re. That's like Those a huge are, thing. These are yeah. big issues that so need to definitely you have, again be on, on that list. It's like, is it a yes, no, maybe? Can I maybe handle it? Can we talk about it? But again, it has to be yeah. like we have to talk about it because. Animals are just as much as it, as important as a child. So yeah, and who you know who's going to discipline it? Who's going to pick up the the poop and the, or you take know, it out at four in the morning when they're going meow yeah. or, or, or whatever yeah, or, or, or what's a ferret? I don't know what a ferret does. Yeah, like I don't know. know what a ferret does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I can't. I, I, I got to get over the ferret. I cannot yeah. talk about a ferret anymore. I'm my I'm not to have a glass of wine. Sorry, <laughs> champagne. Here I go. Oh, pink. And so obviously ah. that's a big thing. There's. There's um, something else to, I think, really point out in the beginning of a relationship when you're considering moving in together is, you know, you had a life prior to this person. So you had interests, you had friends, you had things that you were doing prior to this person. And so those things should be able to continue. They may scale back a little bit, but you should be able to continue those things without this other, this new partner becoming jealous or resentful that you continue with, you know, your fun hobbies or, you know, your, if you're involved in sports or something, or, you know, meeting friends for drinks after work, you should be able to do that. And, you know, without there being, um, 
sort of a rift in the relationship. Right, exactly. You have to have your own independency. You have to have your kind of like your quiet space. If you come mm-hmm. home and you need like, let's say you've had like a, like a, like a, like an overtime job and you just, you love you, whatever, you know, but you have to have that five minutes or 20 minutes just to kind of go, no, no, no. And then mm-hmm. you don't have it because I, oh, honey, you're home, blah, 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 yeah. or whatever, or vice versa. And this is, and you have to have that space where you can go to. I, t- you, but you have to again have that conversation, yeah. and whatever that, whatever that. I totally agree. Yeah, with that. I think define you know how much personal space you need because when you're single, you have a whole lot of personal space, and you choose when you let people in. So now that you're moving in together, do you, you know how much personal space do you need? For instance. Or if your kids know your face when you walk in, like, oh, mom or dad needs, like, that half hour, we're out of here. It's kind of, you have to make that aware of that person, yeah. too, and that whatever that, like, yeah, relationship and, looks like. and discussing it beforehand, saying, hey, I, I need some private time. I, there's going to be, I'm going to need some downtime. Um, yeah, because I, I, I recharge when I'm by myself. My husband, not so much. Yeah. So, right. yeah. you know. And, and so, and then when he comes home from work, he may need downtime, but I'm like, rah, 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 cause I haven't had anyone to talk right. to. So, yeah. It, yeah. So it, you, it's just something, it's something to be aware communication. of. Communication. It's something to, yeah, definitely communicate so that, you know, you each have, you know, safe boundaries and, and respect right. by your partner that, you know, they are going to honor that because you have already set that up. At I agree. It's just a job. You have to, everything has to work. So again, we'll have that kind of like suggestions on our mm-hmm. website. Again, you can click on it. But also I do have to be the negative nilly at the end of the show this time. Because <laughs> what if it is your exit strategy? What if you have moved in like you knew, but on your plan, you do have to plan that because mm-hmm. what if it's like you are combining families or you both have your own finances and you're, this is talking we're not married, we don't have, you know, combined right. things. You kind of got to be up front of it at the beginning. It's like, okay, like we, what if this doesn't work out? What's going to happen? You mm-hmm. kind of have to say who's going to stay, who's going to go, who's, who's like right. if we, we both are on the lease or whatever, whatever that looks like, who's really going to be that? And to actually have it signed and everything because that's when everything negative, bad, bad starts because then that's when it turns into this. Then it gets ugly, yeah, right? right. And then that, that's when. And you don't want that. That's when that alcohol just happens. Yeah. It's bad, and bad, it, bad. Yeah. And it's so nice to part like to agree amicably that you're going to part as friends or you or you, and and, you and, come to and, some agreement and and unfortunately unfortunately nowadays we're more aware of that so they do have those agreements so that you can do that because it is a really good space there to be are. in because you're not threatened and you're you're everybody's in like kind of yeah. a quote safe place safe. yeah in a safe yeah. space and then sure. you can leave hopefully i mean nothing can like when people break up or like things life does happen you don't always it doesn't mean you're going to be best friends tomorrow but at least you can leave there both having some security of life and whether it be kids your cat your dog yourself Mm -hmm. whatever you don't have to go out having nothing which is gigantic to me I think that's huge I think that is probably a a a fear that a lot of women have so I definitely think um look into what your rights are communicate Mm -hmm. those Stand your ground, stay strong, ladies. And it's not romantic, but it's important. Okay.